in studio by a young man. He is he goes by the name of Ellen uh, Tembrescu. I pronounced that one right. Uh, he is a self-taught pianist who discovered his passion for music during the lockdown. Hey, and everything I discovered during the lockdown was, you know what? It's fine. Let's just pack it there. I might just get into trouble. Uh, when he stumbled upon an old keyboard. Now, at the tender age of 13, he started learning how to play the, pia uh, the piano by searching for classical music pieces online and practicing them on his own. As his learning abilities grew with the piano, he developed a keen taste uh, for performance and ended up performing at uh, a Cripcon, right, a national concert for Curo Arts. He participated in Talent Africa, where he won the instrumentalist category or category. Alan is preparing to represent Namibia in uh, Talent Af uh, Talent America, uh, which will take place from July 7th uh, to 9th in New York City and New Jersey in the United States of America. Now, the budding pianist has proven that with hard work and determination, all dreams are attainable regardless of age. He joins us now in studio and he's going to talk to us about his journey, man, but most importantly, um, what he's uh, busy with and what he's going to be doing. Alan, uh, top of the morning to you, Governor. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning, thanks. Um, Alan, talk to us a bit uh, about yourself, man. I mean, classical music, yo. Like, so you just woke up one day and said, you know what? It's this one. It's this one. How did that go about? Talk to us. So um, during the lockdown, it was like I didn't really have a mu uh, particular music taste. So mm. I started I started looking for music, mm. and then um, I stumbled across randomly mu uh, some classical music. And I was like, "What is this music? I don't understand right. it." Yeah, what is it? It's like, oh, <laughs> it's so complicated. It's so complex. And yeah. I was like, you know what? My grandfather loved it so much. Why mm. don't I just? understand it because right. the only way to enjoy it is if you understand it right most people don't enjoy it because they don't understand it mm. and then that's how i you know developed a passion for the classical music i mean again i need to to probe like w people just don't wake up and say you know what classical music is is what i'm choosing is it, it looks nice <laughs> because again the understanding of it the, the the intricacies the the ups and the downs just the emoteness of of music you know how 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 was that again you did allude to a bit uh, that, that that it comes from from your from your grandfather and 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 also I, i'm assuming your parents but you know, do you remember the first thing that you played? So I found an old keyboard in our house, right. and I was like, you know what? I mean, I can use this to learn something. Mm. So I wanted to learn a piece by Beethoven. It was Fury Lisa. Mm. I managed to do it. It was very, it was very scruffy, right. but I managed to learn it. And then I was like, you know what? This is awesome. So I started, you know asking my dad over and over to try and get me like an electric piano. Right. And then eventually he got me one. Right. And then I, you know, I started practicing. I started getting sheet music and then I had to, you know, teach myself to read because I did not know how to read music. Right. And then after I did that, I just started learning a bunch of pieces. Would you say that was the most challenging part about the whole process? Uh, one of the most challenging parts, right. the, the most challenging part would be not having an instrument. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you performed at the Talent Africa and other platforms. How was that experience like for you? I mean, again, self-taught, you just, again, stumbled upon a classical music. How was that like for you? So Talent Africa, I heard about from one of uh, a youth pastor I had. It was so random. He was like, you know what? You should come perform at Talent Africa. Right. So I arrived there. It was at Drumbos. It turns out they didn't actually have a piano there. I was, I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so I did it virtually. I randomly had this video. Surprisingly, it didn't mm. have any mistakes on. Right. So they went through, they adjudicated it, and they were like, you know what, Alan, you won the instrumentalists. And then I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you got high gold and you're going to uh, partake in South Africa. Yeah. Now, in that time, I was writing exams. So again, I did it virtually. Mm. And then I got a platinum award, which is second highest. So mm. they sent me to Talent America. That will take place from 7th to 9th. I am planning on going. Oh, this one. This yeah, I'm planning on this going. This one you're going to be definitely <laughs> going. Like, okay, so wh why is this a big deal for you going to the United States for Talent America? Well, I feel like it would be really nice to spread my passion for classical music and, you know, help others enjoy it too. Yeah. You know, interpret the music in a way that they will, you know, feel it mm. really, you know, flow. But um, 
I really want to go there because then I could also use it as maybe a networking opportunity, something right. like that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we understand that uh, you are currently busy with uh, with Gaza for a, symph a symphonic concert. Um, how is that going? Like, is this? Is so this? Yeah. We, uh, we actually start rehearsals on the twenty seventh. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really allowed to talk about what we're doing. Ooh. But yeah, it's so we can expect fireworks from you. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> but from a from you as Alan, I mean, once you come back from Talent America, what does that look like for you? What does the future hold with with your classical music pursuits, if at all? I mean, you are still quite young; the world is your oyster, as it were. What are the plans? What does that look like? So, of course, I would love to hold a concert yeah. in Namibia. Okay, you know, my home. I just want to hold a concert here, and after that. Um, I'm going to take a break from performing. Okay. And then I'll just uh, practice and practice and perhaps do the, uh, I think it's the degree in performing arts. I'm not sure. It, I'll just, you know, I'll continue with piano examinations. Right. Do, uh, sorry, uh, Alan, do the people who play piano have like backup? Backups, because I can be your backup artist. Dust, <laughs> or send me to your label. But no, man, Alan. If, if we're trying to get in touch with you for bookings, and uh, we we just really want a Namibian touch to classical music, how do we get in touch with you? So, sorry, your booking details. If somebody's yeah. maybe interested and say, "Wow, I would, I would like somebody to come play for a romantic dinner with my well, people," or just uh, I have all my details on Instagram. Okay, it is a business account. I have my email is there, my number is there. Um, it is Alanissimo. That is A W -L, L E N I W -S, S I M O. Mm, Bellissimo. Alan. Alanissimo. Alanissimo. It's like a music pun. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alan, I understand that you're gonna you're gonna play something for us because he brought the whole you know setup here in studio. Uh, you're gonna play something for us and uh, let us out. I will. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. No worries. This piece is an elegy for the Arctic by Ludovico Einaudi. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. You got me into my feelings here. Eh? <laughs> Thank you so much, Ellen, and all the best. Thank you for having me. Bravo Namibia was proudly brought to you by Namok. It's what's inside. A pure miracle drink as nature intended. Na